What's good everybody, it's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can get that detuned feel on your samples or any virtual instruments that you're using in Logic Pro X using stock plugins only, right after this. Thanks for joining guys. So as I mentioned before, I'm gonna show you guys uh, a way that you can get that detune feel on your samples or on any virtual instruments that you're using Logic Pro X using stock plugins only. In addition to that, I'm gonna give you guys a kalimba instrument, a uh, virtual instrument that I created myself by recording a kalimba sound and then importing it in TXS24. Perhaps I'm gonna do another tutorial on that in the future. But if you download this project file, I'll put a link up in the uh, cards right here as well as in the description. Uh, that instrument will be contained within that project file, so you can feel free to use it uh, in your next beat. Um, I already created a chord progression slash melody for this tutorial using that instrument. Let's have a listen to that now. So that instrument sounds great already, but I wanted to give it that detuned feel uh, to make it sound like it, you know a sample that would be used nowadays. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come down to modulation and then use the scanner vibrato. And this is a plugin that comes with Logic. So let's go ahead and select the first um, preset and see what it sounds like. Change the uh, stereo phase a little bit here and the rate. Check some of the other presets here. Enhance electric piano. And you can hear that detuned uh, vibrating feel now on that sample. Fluffy vibration, oscillating hi-hats, pan modulator, slow rotation, stereo diffuser. Wide rotate. Blur vibrato. I like this uh, enhanced electric piano. On top of that, I'm going to add another modulation tool uh, called the rotor cabinet. And this is like a microphone cabinet that makes it sound uh, even older. You know what I mean? If you want to try to get that uh, that old sound for your samples. Go through some of these presets here. Now, this uh, rotor cabinet makes it sound a little bit, uh, you know, mono, I guess you could say in a sense. But uh, we can fix that in a second. We can change the cabinet, wood, proline, single, split, wood and horn, proline and horn, and split and horn. I think I like the real cabinet. You can have the mic position in the front or the rear. Turn the deflector on and off. You can turn the rotation on. I like that right there. And right, right off the bat, that sounds already really dope. So I'm going to bounce this in place now. And uh, you can make sure to include volume and pan automation. And for this one, I'm going to turn normalize on because I know it's kind of quiet. I want to make maximize that volume a little bit. Now we can have a listen to that. Come in with an EQ. Take out some of those really crazy frequencies. That one right there. Let's widen it a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick hack tutorial on how to you know, add that detune sauce to your uh, samples or your virtual instrumentation. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload some new content. My name is CJ Beats and I'm out for now. Peace.